palliative care is a very new medical specialty. I'd say palliative care is a philosophy and it's a way of looking at medicine in a different set of eyes than most of us have been trained. Every day I get asked, what is palliative care? I tell families that palliative care helps patients and their families in two particular ways. The first thing is, I often will help patients that are having symptoms that are, are difficult to control. So they and their doctor have been trying to control their pain, or their shortness of breath, or their nausea, and it's been a real challenge. They can, they can ask for our expertise in helping them have the most comfort and quality of life that they can for, for whatever lies ahead for them. There are also a lot of patients and families that we help with making decisions about what type of care do they want, making decisions about um, potentially end of life care. So we help in a multitude of ways and every patient is really different. On one patient, I'll go in and strictly be seeing them for pain very early in their illness. Other patients, we, we, we show up and help them with a lot of end of life questions and, and helping them have a, a dignified and, and peaceful death. Uh, the difference between um, palliative care and hospice um, is something that I'm asked very often. Um, hospice, most people feel like they understand better than palliative care. So a hospice is basically the same philosophy of palliative care in that it's about quality of life and comfort, but hospice is a program that's limited to the last six months of your life. And palliative care is not a program. It's a medical specialty that helps with quality of life and comfort no matter where you are in your illness. show up to help a family, we, we are advocates for that family. We're not there to help make a decision for them, but help to show them what choices and options they have ahead of them and discuss with them their goals and needs and wishes so we can help them and their medical team make the right choices for their care. Um, there are times when absolutely we are managing symptoms and we're continuing all the therapies that we've been doing. There are other times that we're helping families decide when do we stop doing the type of care that we're doing and focus more on comfort. It all depends on the patient's situation and we don't go in with any preconceived notions. We go in, we know the medical situation, we get to know the family and we help them all come to a consensus on what would be the best thing for this instance. I always say the nurses and the doctors in the hospital are very cure oriented and it's hard to, to kind of come off of that orientation every once in a while and look at the big picture, or what I would call the 10,000 foot view of what's going on with people. And to make sure that what we put quality of life um, and comfort at the forefront of um, these very life prolonging and curative therapies. The choices are really hard for patients um, when they're in the hospital. They're overwhelmed. They have many people involved in their care. Um, I often say we have a, a heart doctor and a kidney doctor and a lung doctor, and it's hard for patients and families to know, you know, am I getting better? Is mom getting worse? Because uh, they're hearing many different things from different teams. So we get involved often to help those patients and families sort through, are we getting better? Are we getting worse? And if this is not the direction that a patient or family wants to go, we can help answer questions about what is the best thing for them. One of the benefits of our service is that we take whatever time is necessary to get families' questions answered and get, get their needs met. And so we do develop very close bonds often with our families. And one of the things that I've noticed since starting this specialty is how often families will contact us after they left the hospital to let us know how their loved one is doing, update us on how things are going, and continue that connection. We often sometimes will see people through multiple hospital stays, and so we get a consult and, and we say, oh, we met them last time we were here and the families are, are grateful to have us involved again. I often hear um, patients and families ask me, is this the right thing to do? And I often say, um, there's no right or wrong answer. Every person is different every person will do something different. There are people who will um, go through a lot of pain and suffering until the very last moment of their lives, and there are people who won't even start with that. And most of us are somewhere in between, but the most important thing is to find out from patients and their families what's, what kind of person they are and what they w are willing to go through. Uh, too often uh, we see patients who aren't able to speak for themselves and we're relying on family to help us make decisions and the families um, often 
don't have a sense of what their loved one would want, and it's a lot of pressure to make heavy decisions when you don't know. I think also too often our medical system puts too much pressure on patients and families to make decisions, and palliative care tries to help explore with the family what the situation is, offer what are the alternatives or what are our choices here, and help them make the best appropriate decision for them and their loved ones.